And here it is. It's tiny lens. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> we have a lens in there. Wow. Test. Should we test? Let's see how it works. Autofocus work, works good. Yeah, I think the autofocus is a, a little bit better than the Sigma. This version, there's a, a longer version that's attached to a tripod with a handle um, that was too long. That would be a little bit limiting in my opinion, so I went for this one. Plus, this is cheaper and a little bit of a grip here to keep it in place. And it's not long. Does this come out or what? How does this? Oh, okay. This is supposed to be some form of hold so in other words if i this still attaches to rods or something wow no three quarter screw or three eighths this is still for mounting on a on a tripod or something we can figure something out it could be a 50 millimeter rod on the camera if you need more wire you can always pull out this, this is good for now. Let's test it. It's connected now. That is turned on. That should come on. Okay, we see a light here. There's light from this stuff, so we we are in business. Okay, so now let's see. Let's start with this one. What is this for? Oh, that's a zoom. Zoom out, zoom in, slowly, zoom out. Okay, nice, easy to work with. Let's go start record. Stop record and should be off, good. Um, we are already on autofocus, so you can have all your controls from here over the camera. Now I'm going to find out um, if this can work start-stop for every lens, that would be nice. So I'm going to try the, because start-stop is the basic that you need. The zoom, because of compatibility of the lens, that's understandable. But we want to see if uh, we can control every lens, even if it is cine or vintage. So we'll take this one off now. Let's get our Sigma back in here. Start. Oh, works good. Stop. So start, stop, works. I press on the start button. It's recording right now. So is the Ninja 5 and stop. And so it works pretty well. It's the connection between the camera and the device that has nothing to do with the lens. So you can do that with any lens. So to switch, it's on focus right now. You push this button. Okay, and then back to autofocus, which is by default. It stays on zoom. It's assuming autofocus is on. And the power off. I, I didn't see any need for the power off. It didn't, I never was able to turn it off. It comes on automatically, so power off doesn't seem to be of need. 
Um, so it works for any lens, even a cine lens, or uh, this is a vintage lens right now. If you don't want to use this, there's a top handle from Small Rig that can control the camera. I found it on uh, Amazon. Um, it is specified at the BGH1. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out if that's the way you want to go. Um, it's 71 bucks or yeah, about 71 bucks. I think it was 89, they just reduced it to 71. I saw it yesterday, so you can get that with a start stop button. That's all, but this can do some more if you have the right lenses. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm trying to get this camera ready for my documentary. We're almost there. We're in the process, we're almost there. All right, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.